Paige Bukas has been a well-known name in the women's basketball world long before she arrived at UConn. Coming out of Hopkins, Minnesota, high school, she was the number one recruit in the country, the 2019 to 2020 Gatorade Female Athlete of the Year, the 2020 McDonald's, Slam and Jordan Brand Classic All-American, and the 2020 Naismith Prep Player of the Year. She was also the 2019 USA Basketball Female Athlete of the Year and the 2019 FIBA U19 World Cup MVP. She arrived at UConn and immediately lived up to expectations, starting in 29 games. She was the first freshman to earn the Wooden Award, Naismith Trophy, AP Player of the Year and USBWA Player of the Year. She led the Huskies in points, assists, steals and three-point field goal percentage and helped UConn reach the Final Four. In 2021-2022, Bukas missed 19 games with a knee injury, but recovered in time to help UConn on another run to the NCAA Championship game. She missed the 2022-2023 season with an ACL injury but intends to return for the 2023-2024 season. The 2021 National Player of the Year tore her ACL last July, then missed the entire 2022-23 season as she worked her way back from the injury. But she is making progress in her recovery, as seen in a video posted to the Yukon Team Twitter account. The video shows Bukas tossing a slick pass and throwing up jump shots with several of her teammates. She already had been putting in work and running through drills, but the visual evidence of her progress should offer Huskies fans with reason to cheer. I'm continuing my road to recovery, Bukas told Just Women's Sports in early May. I'm starting to see the finish line and the light at the end of the tunnel. There has been a lot of hard work over the past nine months, and honestly I am just continuing that this summer. I'm hoping to get back on the floor soon. Through the first two seasons of her college career, the 5 to 11 point guard is averaging 18.0 points, 5.1 assists, 4.5 rebounds and 2.0 steals per game. When she is on the floor, she is one of the most electric players in college basketball. The key for UConn is keeping her there. I think once I get my feet under me and once I get back into the flow and get my confidence back and my movements in my knee, just in how I play and how I used to play, I think I'll be better than I was before," she said during the 2023 NCAA tournament. On Thursday, UConn posted a video of Bukas, Ines Betancourt, KK Arnold and Caden Samuels getting shots up in practice as the team began summer workouts this week. The video opens with a shot of Bukas' feet walking on the team's practice court in stores. Bukas is seen in the video wearing a leg sleeve on her left leg, lightly running, catching and throwing passes, and practicing her jump shot. Earlier this week, Bukas posted a collage on Instagram of photos of her working out at Integrity Hoops based in Los Angeles. Bukas, wearing a leg sleeve in the photos, captioned the post, Tunnel Vision on a Mission. Bukas has not played a full season of college basketball since her freshman year in 2020-21. The 2021 National Player of the Year missed 19 games as a sophomore after a tibial plateau fracture in her left knee in December 2021. In August 2022, about six months after she returned to court following her initial knee injury, she tore her ACL in the same knee during a pickup game on campus. Depending on the severity of the injury and the individual athlete, recovery for ACL tears often ranges between 9 and 12 months. Yuka spent her true junior season on the sideline during games and going through extensive rehab and recovery during practices. Days were hard and progress came slowly, yet Yuka says she remained motivated through it all. Well I've learned from last year it's not going to be smooth sailing, Yuka said back in March to Tinsider's Mike Anthony. There are going to be bumps. There are going to be highs and lows. But I think once I get my feet under me and once I get back into the flow and get my confidence back and my movements in my knee, just in how I play and how I used to play, I think I'll be better than I was before. 
In March, Bukas was at least two months out from being cleared to return to full contact basketball activities. We last saw Bukas on the court during the end of the 2023-24 season. During open practices, she was seen still wearing street clothes, yet she'd spent time shooting from the free throw line with limited leg movement. Often during pre-game warm-ups, Bukas could be seen lightly shooting on the other end of the court. She spent the off-season continuing her rehab and making an appearance at Overtime's WBB Takeover event in early May in Atlanta. Bukas led a team of top high school basketball girls against a team led by LSU star Flaje Johnson, Bukas Team 1. It's unclear whether Bukas will play in UConn's scheduled exhibition games this upcoming August during its European trip. If she doesn't play on the trip, her first official game back will likely be UConn's exhibition game. While UConn hasn't officially announced the details of its exhibition game, the Journal Enquirer reported the Huskies will face Southern Connecticut. Bukas has only played in 46 collegiate games out of UConn's total 103 games over the past three years due to injury. The last college game she played was the 2022 National Championship game on April 3, 2022 against South Carolina, when she had 14 points, 6 rebounds and 2 assists in 39 minutes. Heading into this season Bukas has a huge decision to make in terms of her future in the sport, turn professional or continue the chase for a national championship with UConn. Bukas will officially be eligible to enter the WNBA draft next spring if she chooses. However, she could also choose to remain in college since she is part of the last class of athletes who were awarded an extra year of eligibility due to the COVID-19 pandemic and she has a redshirt year available following sitting out all last season. There's always a chance, she said in March. I have three more years of eligibility. I'm not declining, not saying for sure I will or for sure I won't. But there's definitely an opportunity for me to return for a fifth year, even maybe a sixth year. Coach Page became a staple of college basketball this season as UConn's Page Bukers helped guide her teammates from the sidelines. Over the weekend, Coach Page was back to work, mentoring the country's top high school players as part of the Overtime Takeover event. Bukas is a natural leader, and the rising senior is passionate about shepherding future college players. I was in their shoes just a couple of years ago, looking up to other college athletes, WNBA athletes, she told Just Women's Sports. So for them to have an outlet, and a person like me, who I feel like has experienced a lot, and seen a lot, willing to give them advice and help them out in any way, is important. Not all of Buka's experiences have been good. The 2022-23 season in particular was riddled with challenges, as Buka's missed the whole season recovering from an ACL injury sustained before the first game was played. Friday marked nine months since the injury occurred, and Paige the coach, and Paige the player, are on track to become one and the same again, soon. I'm continuing my road to recovery, Bukas said. I'm starting to see the finish line, and the light at the end of the tunnel. There has been a lot of hard work over the past nine months, and honestly I am just continuing that this summer. I'm hoping to get back on the floor soon. The Yukon guard also missed a chunk of the 2021-22 season with an anterior tibial plateau fracture and a lateral meniscus tear on her left leg. She underwent surgery and returned to the floor in time to lead Yukon to the final four. When she's on the floor, Yukas is averaging 18 points, 5.1 assists, 4.5 rebounds and 2 steals per game. A dominant freshman campaign led to Yukas being awarded Player of the Year honors. Bukas has an entire network of former UConn players behind her as the guard continues her recovery. It's been that way since she first decided to play for the Huskies, Bukas says, but now, it's more important than ever. Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart have offered words of wisdom and encouragement to Bukas throughout the process. Both have battled major injuries during their careers, with Stewart tearing her Achilles in 2019 and Bird injuring her ACL during her freshman season at UConn. 
Any time she deals with adversity, Bukas remembers something Stuart said to her, it's a small thing to a giant. There are going to be little things that knock you down, Bukas said. Nobody's career has ever been perfect. It's more about how you handle adversity that says a lot about you, and the way you bounce back and attack anything that tries to knock you down. Thank <laughs> you.